polymerase chain reaction technique can be modified into a variety of useful modifications including one called real time pcr real time pcr relies on all the components of a standard pcr reaction the target dna the oligonucleotides the primer the free nucleotide triphosphates and a tag polymerase the twist in the real time pcr is this this technique employs a fluorescent oligonucleotide probe which allows researcher to monitor the progress of the reaction as it occurs in real time the probe contains two fluorescent dyes a reported dye on the 5 prime end and a quenched dye on the 3 prime end when the reporter is excited by light it transfers its energy to the nearby quencher this process of energy transfer called fluorescence resonance energy transfer or fret it prevents the reported dye from emitting that light the probe participates in the pcr cycles which begin with the heat denaturation of the dna the temperature is then lowered and the probe and primers anneal to the specific sequence on the dna strands tag dna polymerase synthesizes complementary dna using the primer as a starting point when the polymerase encounters the probe and the polymerase isn't actually blocked the polymerase has a 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity that it uses to digest the probe at the same time the polymerase contains to elongate the new dna strand the cleavage of the probe is an essential part of this reaction because it separates the reported dye from the quenched dye when the light excites the reported dye the reported dye can now fluoresce and the quenched dye is too far from the reported dye to block its emission in the next pcr cycle twice the number of the template dna molecules are available for the reaction again the probe molecules anneal to the templates along with the primers as the reaction proceeds the reported dyes are liberated into the solution the next fluorescence measurement pick up the fluorescence from both the pcr cycle After each cycle the intensity of fluorescence is measured and the data from all the cycles are used to construct an amplification plot as you can see in this experiment different numbers of starting dna molecules from 1000 to 10 million were used in a parallel reactions a reaction with no template dna was also run the time at which fluorescence increases over the background level reflects the amount of dna in the original sample with the earliest detectable reaction occurring in the same time with most starting materials Real time PCR is a quantitative assay providing the ability to compare experimental samples with known reference samples. In contrast, in standard PCR technique, the reactions are retrieved at the end of the cycle while the reactions are no longer running efficiently due to the part of limiting reacting agents and are therefore not quantitative.